What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter series. On the last episode, our top comment was from the boy Prestige saying we should go for the Diametes, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Really quick, this is the class I'm using. I, I sometimes forget to show the class, so I switched off the other pistol. I have a Groza on there just to level it up if I'm not using the pistols. And uh, yeah, we got the basic perks. Tack Mask, Flak Jacket, Scavenger, Quartermaster, Gung Ho, and Go. For our attachments, we have no optic, sound suppressor, 7.2 task force barrel, SWAT, five milliwatt laser sight, 30 round fast mag and do wield for the stock really quick here's our camo progress spray is done stripes were only six away classic we need eight bloodthirsties so let's see if we can get those geometrics done Laura's done science we just need to kill seven more enemies behind cover but if we can't get that by the time we get bloodthirsties done we're gonna switch over to hardcore and go single pistol and psychedelics done all right i haven't used uh the dual diabetes very much because i usually do everything in hardcore but it seems like bloodthirsties are a lot easier with the duels like i almost just got his fucking life tomahawked but from everything i've heard the duels are really op especially like in war zone i haven't tried them out in war zone yet but i've heard that they're really good like uh people are taking it over like overkill class so they can have like ghosts fuck you i gotta remember that we're going for five kills and i can't play too reckless what the fuck was that guy doing just spinning around I think he saw me. That guy for sure saw me. That's a bloodthirsty. He's gonna find this jammer. Jammers are so impossible to find without engineer. The only reason to have engineer on if you're not going for like launchers is to find jammers. They seem so frequent. And also speaking of jammers, I need to confess I was wrong. Counter spy planes do not help for flora. Uh, I was under the impression that they did, but uh, I'm gonna fall back on that. So I don't, I don't wanna be spreading misinformation about camos. But I do stand by that spy planes are pretty fucking useless because there's always a counter spy plane the second I put mine up. I don't know if that's just my experience or if you guys have seen the same thing. I need to start figuring out how to get bloodthirsties more efficiently. I've seen comments of you guys asking how to get bloodthirsties and I think most of the time we're just playing too fast for our own good. It, it's all about getting a kill and then repositioning yourself so you have enough health or ammo to be able to take on someone else. So like get a kill stim run back and it's half time from you know every game i've ever played movement has always been the most important thing if you can master the movement of a game you're definitely like elevate your play a lot getting bloodthirsties doesn't come down to how good you are at aiming it comes down to mostly how good you are at positioning yourself and putting yourself in a better position to get another kill and you're not running into people like that see i have the problem where i sprint way too much i'm constantly holding down the fucking the sprint button and the my Sprint to fire is you, sprint to fire usually. Ooh, get the fucking tomahawk. Sprint to fire usually isn't the best, even with gung ho. Like you don't want to be relying on it. Gung ho is kind of like a crutch perk for me, just so I can like switch weapons a lot faster and just be able to shoot while running. But most of the time, when you when you shoot, you want to stop for a second. Like in in games like Counter Strike and everything. Uh, I'm talking about like being good at positioning everything while I'm getting wrecked. But in games like uh, Counter Strike and everything, a lot of the time you need to stop to shoot for it to be more accurate by doing things like oh fuck that could have been sweet i don't think you really need to counter strafe in this game but just need to move less okay we're not even getting close to bloodthirsties as i'm sitting here talking about it but you know as the saying goes coaches don't play it seems like they're all pinned back in that in their house and they're forcing me to push usually the best way to do it is to be in an area where they have to push you so we gotta go back to the old saying infiltrate the dealer Find the supplier. We just have to break our way into the house and be able to sit in there without flipping the spawn. And I think that's the best way to get bloodthirsties. You just gotta stop yourself from getting too overzealous and getting too deep in their spawn. All right, we've infiltrated the dealer. And we gotta stick around and wait for the supplier. No fucking way. Damn, that was, that was rough for challenges. All right, we just need two more headshots. Still seven bloodthirsties. And we got no kills behind cover. So it's looking like we're gonna have to go to hardcore for that. But hopefully we can actually get some bloodthirsties this game. All right, take all of our advice from last game and try to put it into work here. So I can, I can talk about strats and best way to do things all day. But if I can't actually show you me doing it, then it doesn't really mean too much. That's why these, uh, that's why when I'm making guides, they always take so long. Cause whatever I'm talking, Ooh, what the fuck? I hit that tomahawk. But like I was saying, that's why guides take forever to make because whatever I talk about, I want to have like video evidence of me doing it. Cause I know a lot of people are more visual learners. And if I can just say like, Oh yeah, just go fucking kill people all day. If I can't show you exactly like it working, 
then it doesn't really mean anything. Because I could, I could be pumping guides out all day and just have random background footage of me just speaking. But I always want to get something at least that somewhat relates to what I'm saying. Oh, another fucking Tommy. We're going crazy. No fucking way. I feel like I always get him to like a ball hair of health and get taken out. That's a kill behind cover? What? He was standing right next to me. Challenge does not make any sense. Okay, one more. No! How much health did you have? That's ridiculous. No! Shotgun and armor? Fuck, dude. This is gonna take forever. Okay, we need to see both sides of the coin here. Obviously, we're not doing well in core. I'm guaranteeing it's just me and how I'm playing. So I'm gonna switch to hardcore and see if that changes anything. So first, we're gonna put on the quick dot LED, take off dual wheel, change the barrel to the reinforced heavy, and we're gonna add the airborne elastic instead of the laser sight. So that is my hardcore build. The worst thing about hardcore is you start doing well and then a teammate just creams their pants and sees you and just has to take you out. Okay, that's three. No, I was one away. It's always one off. I'll hit a fury kill and then just somebody will come kill me from behind. Okay, that's one. Finally. Our, our bloodthirsty dry streak is over. I think we finally just need uh, to pop that cherry and now we're back in it. One more. Oh my Lanta. Let's go. Let's go, that's another one. One, two. Three, four, no! Damn. That's a kill behind cover, okay. What the fuck? We did get two that game though. One step closer. And we finished our kills behind cover, so it wasn't all for nothing. But man, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. You know, maybe I'll actually change my emblem, my prestige emblem. That one looks sick. This one looks sick too. I'm gonna go with this one. Why is there two of the same? Yeah, I'm going with this one. Let's go. There we go. One more. Please just show me one person I can kill. One away. Oh, thank God. I thought we were about to choke it. No! I got team killed on four! Oh my fucking God. Team killed on four right before the game's over. That's ridiculous. Oh, I need two more. Fuck. No way. It literally froze. And when it unfroze, I was dead. The fucking frame drops in this game are ridiculous. It's so fucking hard to play this game. I literally didn't even see that reload because my game freezing. What the fuck was that? 130 to 30? 100 frames are dropping at a time. That's a complete pause of the game. One more. Oh, thank God. One more. Just need one more bloodthirsty. I apologize for, for the frame drops, guys. Uh, and like all the little freezes. I don't I don't know what to do to fix it. If any of you guys play on PC and you've you've solved this problem, please let me know. One more one more bloodthirsty and we're fucking done. I didn't even fucking see him! My game freezes and comes back and I'm dead. Oh, fucking finally. Is that it? Show me the fucking camo. Oh, thank God. Oh, my Lanta. This has been the most grueling experience I've ever had getting camos. I know the, the Diamatis are like easy and they're like they're really good. But not only was I struggling to get bloodthirsties, 
I, I'm, I'm struggling to even play the game. Holy shit. Finally fucking done. Holy shit, that was a struggle. Anyways, this is what it looks like gold. This is what it looks like diamond. Diamond looks pretty fucking nice. Here are my weapon mastery calling cards. Everything you see here is what I have completed. So if you suggest this, I will not be able to do it. And uh, yeah, that fucking sucked. That's gonna do it for today. Make sure you leave your suggestion on what gun you want me to do next. I'll see you next time.